What's up guys, Sharif here and it has been a long time since I've last made a video and in this video I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys and that's how to send or receive any file via Bluetooth on iPhone or iPad. Well, this is my jailbroken iPhone 6 running iOS 8.1.1. So what I'm basically gonna do right now you guys is sending any file to my laptop from my iPhone, a picture, let's say. The tool that I'm gonna show you guys right now enables you to send basically any file to other devices like Nokia, Samsung, Sony, HTC or a laptop or even an iPhone that has this tool installed on it, AirBlue Sharing. This is a jailbreak tool, you get it from Cydia and this is one of the unlimited uses of the jailbreak. And if you don't know how to jailbreak your iDevice on iOS 8, the link is going to be down below in the description. The first thing you want to do to send a file, just double tap the status bar to activate the Bluetooth of the AirBlue sharing. The next thing you want to do is activate the receiving capability of the other device. Just for example, right click on the Bluetooth icon, choose receive a file. Now it is completely ready to receive a file. Now you might want to choose a file on your iPhone like a photo. Open the photo and then click on the AirBlue sharing. Choose the name of the receiving Bluetooth device. And if there is a previous connection between the two devices, it's going to start sending directly. The name of the Bluetooth device could show as letters and numbers at first, but you gotta wait a little bit until the complete name shows up. Very nice, by sent. The laptop has received the photo already and is asking you where do you want to save it. I'm going to save it on the, the desktop and when I click finish, the photo is going to be right there. Like that. Cheer up boys! <coughs> Voila! The cool thing is that you can also receive files from the laptop, Sony, Samsung, HTC or whatever, any device that can possibly send via Bluetooth. For example, I'm going to right click on the add photo and try to send it. Now you might want to choose send to Bluetooth device, but you gotta activate the air blue sharing on your iPhone first. And to do that, you might want to double tap the air status bar on your iPhone real quick to activate the air blue sharing. I didn't activate the stock native Bluetooth of the iPhone, and I have an automatic connection between my iPhone and my laptop. And once you click next on your computer, you receive a message on your iPhone that says you want to receive this file, accept or accept all if you want to receive multiple files or cancel, just hit accept. And sorry for the German language. And when you hit accept, the sending starts immediately to the iPhone. And again, I didn't miss around with the native Bluetooth of the iPhone. Did you hear that? That means the file is there. Now you can hit finish on the computer. To find the received file, just tap the air blue sharing icon and then hit the menu button on the left side. Now you choose air received. Now to open up the file, just wipe on it from the right to the left side and then you might want to tap on the arrow on the left hand side. And this is the picture I received via Bluetooth. And now to the main question, how to install AirBlue sharing? Just open up Cydia, tap on sources. Now you should add some source to do that. You might wanna click on edit and then add. In this box, you should type the source repo.hackyouriphone.org forward slash. And the link is going to be down below in the description anyways. After adding the source, tap on search. Now start typing air blue space sharing. Now you got a couple of options, but you might want to choose the one that comes from the source hack your iPhone uh, with the blue icon. Yeah, that's right. It's completely free. Click install and you gotta make sure it's from Hack Your iPhone repo. 
I have already installed that. Well, there are a couple of settings you might want to take care of. For instance, you can give a name to your Bluetooth device and also you can enable a secure simple pairing that gives a passcode to enable a connection between this device through this button. It's really important, however, to keep the native stock mode um, deactivated and keep those two at the bottom activated or otherwise you can uh, close the remove imported. That's it you guys and that's one awesome feature of the jailbreak. Just let me know in the comments section if air blue sharing worked for you guys. If you like this video hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos hit the subscribe button below this video. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.